Okay guys, welcome to part 2 of this video. So just to summarize what we did in part 1, we changed our registry to make auto admin log on the binary value to be 1, so it auto logs on to your account. Um, we made sure that the default, uh, default password and default uh, uh, username were correct in the registry editor and we just changed the registry and clicked save or whatever and allowed any changes to be made to the registry and uh, we understood what INI files were and what uh, the profile name for INI files are and everything and we understood the parameters we had to write for the program so now let's continue making the program so just anywhere on your desktop right click and uh, click uh, scroll over new so scroll over new and click text document it should show another uh, text document on your desktop double click on that and this should come up alright the first thing you should do before scripting anything is always change the directory because we want the program to run in uh, r we want the program tvc to run which is in the directory as follows so just type in cd for change directory and then look for the directory you want uh, that the, the program is in remember we went to uh, the c drive program files and total video converter and tvc is down here this tells the computer to go to this directory because the, pro the program we're going to use is in this directory. So just go to C, uh, hard drive C, program files, total video converter, and cl uh, push uh, Control and C to copy that. Go back to the, the, uh, the notepad file and push Control V to paste it. And that will change the directory CD to C, program files, total video converter. Alright, now the help file says that the first parameter should be TVC. You should you could ignore that arrow. We don't need that arrow. So first type in TVC. So TVC. All right. Second parameter down here is slash f. And like we discussed before, slash f was the input file name. So now we have to f uh, find the the file that we want to convert. And uh, I'm going to navigate to where the file I want to convert is. Yours is obviously probably going to be different than mine because you probably saved the, the video you want to convert into a directory than I have. Mine is in uh, C, download, and I want to... Now you can click here, click at the end and put a back... If you put a backwards slash, that should, that should give you a list of um, your available options in this directory, which is right here. So I want to convert Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yes, I do have it on DVD, and no, this is not illegal for me to download it because I already have it on DVD. So click on that. Actually, no, don't cl don't click on it. Just uh, navigate to it and highlight the the file path. Push Control C to copy. So now this is the input file name. So it's C download Journey to the Center of the Earth DVD rip whatever dot avi. So we can close this now and type in over here just push control uh, V and paste it just like that okay so now we've uh, told the program what the input file name is and this is the input file name the next thing it says in the help file is to type slash O be sure to leave a space between the I and the slash O so we go slash O and that tells the output file I want the output file to be the exact same as my input file except with a different file extension so instead of AVI I want MP4 because I want to put it on my iPod as an MP4 format. This will put the file that I'm converting into C, download, journey to the center of the earth, this is the name of the file. So it's going to put it in the same place where I have the original file, but just with a different file extension. All right. Now the next parameter is slash P, I, space, I, N, I, backwards slash. Okay, now we have to type in the name of the I, N, I file we discussed before, which is right here, which is what's called iPod MP4, right? So over here we just type in the name of the INI file. So it was uh, iPod MP4.ini, right? And then we're gonna go back to the help file to see what the next parameters are. Over here they use the INI file PAL VCD. This is because they wanted to convert it to VCD format, but we want to convert it to iPod MP4 format. That's why we're using the iPod MP4 uh, INI file. Can we discuss that the, the the profile we wanted from this INI file was iPod MPEG high quality, which is right down here. So just highlight that. That's a profile name. 
push control copy see over here it says the profile name type slash pn and the profile name so let's go back to our program type slash pn and then push control v to type in ipod mpeg 4 high quality all right so basically we've done our program that's our entire program right there all we have to do now is click file save as save it to the desktop as video converter to well I've already had one well you can name it anything you really want but you have to have the extension dot cmd so type in whatever you want over here but have a dot cmd extension to it this will tell the computer that this is this program has to be run on the command prompt that is built into windows alright so now just click save and you could close pretty much everything you should have this new looking file right here called video converter 2 or whatever you named it and it should have this kind of icon like a, a window with a gear on it and that's the program if you double click on the program right now it's gonna start running and start converting the program on the spot right now but we don't want it to do it right now we want the computer to be off and we want the com uh, windows to turn on the computer by itself at a time we designated to and run this program that we just made right here so in order to do that we have to run a windows task uh, scheduler which we could do by clicking start and uh, clicking control panel All right in control panel you should see scheduled tasks right here for an antivirus i use nod32 business edition and it doesn't really like uh, it doesn't really like uh, scheduled tasks so i have to block it each time i am using scheduled tasks so just block your antivirus if it bothers you and double click on scheduled tasks and this should pop up click add scheduled task click next and over here it's going to ask you to, uh, which program you want to run click browse go to the desktop or wherever you save the program we just made and navigate to the program uh, it's right here I've already made a video converter before but this is the one I'm using as an example so I'm just going to double click on that Okay, and over here it's going to ask you how many times you want to run this I just want to run it one time only you can do to run it daily, weekly, monthly each time your computer starts and whenever you log on so I'm just going to click one time only and click next over here the start time I want is 9 o'clock uh, 9 10 in the morning so when I'm at school start date I want to be tomorrow because right now it's about 4.30 in the after school alright I'm gonna click next over here it's gonna ask you the the password for the account you, uh, the account you're using this is why we made a password in the beginning so I'm gonna type in my password confirm it and click next if you hadn't set a password already to your account these tasks will not work you're just gonna drive yourself nuts and it's not gonna work okay whenever whenever you get to this uh, window push uh, click that and click finish alright now you have to click settings and unclick the first two and click the last one wake the computer to run this task click apply and click OK and now you can see that video converter 2 or whatever you called it is scheduled to run on 9 10 a.m. on this date and uh, yeah so pretty much you just done now all you have to do all you have to do is not l turn off your computer at night today just put it on standby by clicking start turn off computer and click standby but and you have to click standby except uh, I can't do it right now because or else my computer is going to turn on standby so standby means that there's no power coming to your computer but it's still pretty much on but there's no power so if it's on standby everything will work properly and by the time uh, you you scheduled I scheduled for 9 10 uh, your video is gonna start right away alright guys thanks for watching